In It Follows, a young girl has sex and then is followed by an unknown force that follows you wherever you go. It Follows is like a really long, bad public announcement for STIs. Teenagers roam around like the Scooby-Doo gang investigating the issue at hand, only to be told the same repetitive dialogue. Just in case you couldn't get what was happening, it will follow you! Scooby dooby doo, where are you? You've got an STI now! I started thinking maybe this is an ironic parody of 70s, 80s movies of the horror genre bent on putting teenagers off from having sex. If you're a slut, you will die. The only terrifying notion here is that it's not trying to be that. I wouldn't call this a horror film. All you have to do is walk faster than it and you'll be fine. Just don't break a leg. No scares and no atmosphere. There was only one perfect shot that I found really effective. The director overuses the 360 camera, is obsessed with footage of trees, pads out the film with pointless imagery and can't get through a single scene without using a filter. The director, David Robert Mitchell, has gone for a timeless look. Assuming he doesn't want the film to age or wishes to create an unsettling atmosphere, but the retro hipster devotion just had me disengaged. The soundtrack doesn't sit well with the film either. Electro doesn't exactly send shivers down my spine, but rather distracts. As much as I liked Micah Monroe in The Guest, I felt she was unable to fulfil her potential because of the incredibly unlikable, pathetic character she is playing. Something is following you, so you run upstairs instead of out of the house, sit on a swing in the dark, sleep on the bonnet of a car in a forest, feeling sorry for yourself. For a modern horror film, I'd like to think it could have moved away from these feeble stereotypes and give characters a kick up the arse when it comes to survival instinct. Originality has gone out the window here and Mitchell has done what the film title states. Followed other directors and films. Why are directors so obsessed with swimming pools? Though I am thankful for its attempt in creating an atmosphere, though unsuccessful, instead of relying on jump scares, the story is just way too simple and stays simple. To paraphrase a line in the film, it had an idea, but it got away. The idea never develops, so essentially the film is just a really shitty game of tag. Now for the comment question. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? If you have, tell us about it in the comment box below. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe so you never miss out on a new video. And don't forget to answer the question by leaving a comment in the box you below. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. Links are in the description box. If you enjoy the channel and would like to give something back, you can become a patron. If you are unable to contribute, hitting the share button to Twitter and Facebook can go a long way too. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.